As winter approaches, the team prepares for the most aggressive period in the Hornets' seasonal cycle, the Honey Bee Massacre. The hive is now 600 strong, and the Hornets demand bigger, better sources of food. It's at that time of year that these extraordinarily well-armed insects start thinking of raiding the beehives. Hornet scouts dispatch to select and mark the chosen beehive. An attack is imminent. When you see a giant hornet sent marking a hive like that, and you know that all the citizens of that particular city are doomed, it's a sort of moment of horror as well as anticipation of a battle to come. The team's last six months have been building to this very moment. The massacre only lasts a matter of hours. Alistair must get all the cameras in place in time. We wanted to film the mass attack in every way we possibly could. We wanted to put a high-speed camera on it, normal speed. We wanted to use the iPlex on it, and endoscopes. We wanted to shoot from inside the hive, looking out. A distinct buzz emerges from the forest. The giant hornets are here and with one intention, to kill. One Japanese hornet can exterminate up to 40 honeybees in a minute. It was extraordinary. It was an event of such extreme carnage. It was completely horrifying in one respect, and fascinating in another. Alistair is inches from the action, and so engrossed in the battle, he drops his guard. I was sort of getting down on my knees and getting into the action. And inadvertently trapped a hornet between my legs. An incredible pain shoots through Alistair's body. He is stung. I've never been punctured by a red-hot needle, but I dare say it would feel very like that. The team rush into action as venom begins to course through Alistair's body. At any moment, he could go into anaphylactic shock. It must be said, the treatment was almost as bad as the stick itself. Cold water constricts the capillaries, stops the blood flow, and inhibits the venom from spreading further through Alistair's body. The first douche of this water on my knee took away all thoughts of a sting whatsoever. In fact, that water must have come straight down from the snow level. It was so cold. I was begging for mercy. The team's experience and fast reactions eradicate most of the venom, preventing extensive tissue damage, saving Alistair's leg. Incredibly, despite the pain, Alistair heads back into the mass of deadly insects to continue filming. The massacre is now in full force. The special camera allows Alistair unprecedented access into the heart of the battle. It was only using technology like that that allowed us to get right down at the level of the fight and right in amongst what was going on. I probably saw more unusual scenes and unique behavior than I've ever seen before in my life. <laughs> 